Editing beat grids to create accurate loops. It's important that your track's beat grids are correct. If a song's beat grid is not aligned properly, this can easily be corrected on the Prime hardware. On Prime 4, press and hold Edit Grid and tap the forward and back buttons to move the grid in one beat increments. Press Edit Grid again to commit the change. If any error was made in the adjustment, press and hold Shift and tap Edit Grid to reset. Fine-tune adjustment of beat grid placement can be done using the jog wheel. Press Edit Grid and gently rotate the jog wheel for higher resolution adjustment. Once in the desired position, tap Edit Grid again to commit. The song's tempo can be halved or doubled in Edit Grid mode by holding Shift and tapping the forward and back buttons. Commit the change again by re-tapping the flashing Edit Grid button. On Prime 4 and in Edit Grid mode, one beat adjustment, half double BPM and a grid reset to original state can also be done via the unit's touchscreen. To adjust beat grids in the SC5000 or SC5000M, press and hold the Grid Adjust encoder, rotate left and right for one beat grid adjustments, and use the jog wheel to move in fine-tuned increments. The touchscreen can also adjust, forward and back, one beat movements, half and double the BPM, and reset if necessary. Tap Done or press the Grid Adjust encoder to commit the edit. You're now all set to loop accurately. Adjust the loop length between 1 32nd of a beat right up to 64 beats by rotating the auto loop encoder. Here we set a 4 beat length, visualized in the jog wheel display. Make sure quantize is set to on. Adjust the setting if needed in preferences. Then tap auto loop once to engage. Rotate left or right to decrease or increase the loop length. The loop section can also be moved forward or back in the track timeline by holding shift and rotating the encoder. Simply tap once more to disengage the loop area. With Quantize still on, to set a correctly timed manual loop, tap Loop In for the start point and Loop Out for the end point. If Smart Loops is set to ON in Preferences, even with Quantize off, a manually entered loop will still maintain a safety factor of snapping to a standard beat length, despite any user timing error on engaging. If required as a performance feature, the track's master cue position can be changed on the fly and moved to the loop in point by setting this to ON in the Preferences. Also, an active loop can be saved for future recall and use by tapping the performance mode's loop button then an empty loop clip pad. The loop is saved and can be re-triggered and released by tapping the pad.